Durak. I'm the Chief Operating Officer and Head of Customer Success for Solvoyo. We are a next generation platform that help clients manage their supply chains end to end, from demand all the way to delivery with little to no human intervention. Welcome. Today, we're going to talk about an exciting topic, fresh supply chains. Why fresh supply chains? Well, because they're a tough nut to crack. And when you're thinking about a supply chain problem with multi-objectives, right? You have availability against service. And then there is the waste element. And then multi-constraints, you know, your seasonality, weather, and now pricing, inflation. There is a very complex problem that professionals have to solve. As a result, we actually compiled a very distinguished group of panelists, not only talk about what these specific challenges are, but hope to really help you walk away with some practical recommendations. So I'm really honored to be joined by three professionals here today. Let me just quickly introduce you one by one. Britton Latt, uh, if there is a celebrity in supply chain, that's him. You know, with 30 plus thousand followers on LinkedIn alone, he's a true voice of uh, the supply chain industry, not just because of all the um, experience he had as a consultant and also a professional, but also this incredible research that he does to allow everyone to see what's uh, emerging and transiting. Joining us also a supply chain professional, Mike Bailent, who has been managing fresh supply chains for the largest retailer in the world. For those of you who are coming in uh, to join us from different parts of the universe, Walmart is a $6 billion company. Mike has seen it all. And now, last but not least, is a professional, uh, Sena Denizeri, our own member of our uh, leadership team from Solvoyo, who has actually seen uh, retail supply chains as well as supply chains from a technology perspective, again, for two decades. So together, we are probably covering almost 100 years of experience. So thank you so much for joining us. What I want to do is to kind of like lay the groundwork for what we're facing. It is really an existential crisis, right? When you're looking at uh, the demand soaring for fresh produce, right? Because of the perceived healthcare benefits. But on the other hand, there is a major issue with the supply. You know, you call it the effect of climate change. There's also, uh, you know, a lot of issues surrounding the uh, waste, uh, you know, sustainability. So when we look at this perfect storm, Britta, what is really an ideal supply chain? What is the ideal supply chain really look like? What would you well, say? In my opinion, and I've done a ton of researches on this globally, the thing that I always say to people is, number one, let's, let's answer the question, what's the purpose of the supply chain? And really the purpose of a supply chain is to do one thing, enable growth. However, as part of that, really what supply chains should be are lean. And the reasons why supply chains should be lean is that by their very nature, lean supply chains are green supply chains. So what do I really mean by that? That means invest the time, money, and effort to really understand. So what type of a supply chain do we need as a company? What type of logistics infrastructure do we need as a company? What do we really need in terms of a platform and so forth for us to meet customer demand? And so the thing that I say to companies is that you must apply science to your supply chain, and then science must really help you drive your supply chain, monitor your supply chain, measure your supply chain on a continuous basis. So at a high level, that's really what I, I say to individuals in this industry. Well, that's, I mean, you, you really touched upon both on the growth side, but as, as well as the cost side, right? So the ideal supply chain not only manages to grow, but has to really manage costs at the same time, but not at the expense of each other, right? Has to be uh, done concurrently. So when you kind of look at this kind of a universe, Mike, as a uh, professional in this industry, right? What would you kind of like, make this a reality as a professional and, and tell us some of the things that you really struggled as a, as a professional and maybe some of the best practices that you can also touch upon, uh, especially in managing principles. Yeah, thank you. 
Yeah, I think the, you know, the, the challenge of enabling growth and maintaining lean operations like that, that's at the heart of every supply chain professional. It's in, extraordinarily difficult to manage both of those, um, but you have to, right? The, the, the supply chain needs to be in a position where it is supporting the customer for growth. Um, I think the, uh, the opportunity for the supply chains um, uh, in, in today's world, where there is a lot of um, uncertainty, where there's a lot of complexity, um, where you have um, a lot of unknowns, uh, the ability to have the right mechanisms in place, whether that's technology or process or it's people, but be able to have the right mechani mechanisms in place to be able to respond and adapt and overcome those particular situations. Um, on the fresh supply chain, we, you know, that's something that we see all the time. And so weather becomes one of those like really key places of one of those key impacts. We know about it, but we can't necessarily predict the severity or the duration of the particular activity. And geographically, the weather events are different. Um, you could have fires, you could have your hurricanes, you could have um, excess uh, precipitation, you could have a drought. Um, there's a lot of different pieces that need to be managed. When I look at um, some of the things that, that, that I've seen to make supply chains successful, as you're working to have lean operations, as you're trying to enable growth, but you're also managing a lot of these uncertainty, there are a couple of key pieces that I think really are important. Number one is risk management. And so I think the, the ability to sit down and understand here's what we could face, what things do we have in play that allow us to be able to manage through those and overcome. Um, the second piece is, especially on the fresh supply chain, to be able to have diversified sourcing um, that can allow you to align suppliers to a, a particular area. Um, but you be able to diversify that so that you don't have immediate impacts from one particular area to another. Um, the, the other key piece, I think, is, is, is collaboration. And this is where I think technology comes in huge, um, is, is not only collaboration with the suppliers, but also internal collaboration with key partners. Uh, the more that you can see what's happening in near time or real time, uh, the, the better chances you have of being able to respond effectively to that particular situation. Well, there's a lot to unpack there, right, Mike? I mean, <laughs> when you when you look at all these uh, kind of like balls that a supply chain uh, leader has to really juggle, when you look at sort of the initial applications of how technology deals with the uncertainty that you just touched upon. Maybe we just allow Vasina to talk about some of the examples of what she sees some of our grocery retail clients are grappling with. And I want to really address the bigger issue of sustainability. So Asena, why don't you, you know, say a few words, please? Thank you, Neil. Uh, yes, so uh, as you refer to what's required, you know, to make these lean supply chains happen, definitely technology is part of it. And the technology uh, is here. Actually, it's been here probably for the last decade, based on our experiences with our customers too, from uh, use of um, machine learning technology, creation of digital twins to help assess those risk situations and scenario planning with very sophisticated demand planning capabilities, especially in the context of fresh and seasonal items, uh, there's a lot of complexities there, obviously. And uh, creating end-to-end -end integrated platform that's scalable and, as you mentioned, kind of extends beyond the four walls of the organization and enables collaboration. So with the advancement of cloud-based technologies, now the world has really shrunk you know, down to a browser, <laughs> you can literally link uh, hundreds of companies together, give them visibility, give them access, uh, and give them an opportunity to kind of make uh, faster decisions in a more agile manner. Uh, now within seconds, you don't have to wait for reports, you know, to be transferred, emailed, back and forth, phone calls. So we definitely across the various types of retailers, that we've been working on. We've implemented different 
uh, versions of these technologies, but ultimately uh, being me lean really requires an integrated uh, single source of truth and be able to make decisions faster, which means you have to rely on automation too. When you're relying on multitudes of people having to analyze data, make sense of it, make decision, it really slows things down. And the technology is here to empower people to make faster decisions through uh, these uh, leveraging advanced analytics, optimization technology, AI, machine learning, and all the cloud technologies that are here to serve the supply chain professionals.